Everyone, this is Adam from War Room Games for the Las Vegas War Room Debrief. So on uh, Saturday, uh, we had a 40K RTT. We had a great turnout. It was our first Arcs of Omen uh, RTT for the new season. 23 people showed up. We even had some people coming in from Southern California. Matthew Geyer was the one that uh, came in with the victory. And uh, as anyone who follows 40K knows that he's a pretty strong player. So we have a good turnout. Hey guys, what's going on? And so this was the final hours of the RTT today for Warhammer 40K. This is the TO himself. Hello. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Timothy. I'm the TO on and off here. We sort of cycle through different people, but uh, today I was a TO slash pretty much judge of the RTT here at War Room. So how many people did we actually have today? Uh, we had uh, 23 show up and then three people dropped. So at the end of the tournament, we had 20 people actually finish all three games nice nice and out of all the teams that you saw today what were like the top three that you saw actually in the finish uh so factions wise we had admic uh votan and adeptus custodes that all finished undefeated see and that's actually kind of interesting because i thought i was a big like, big favor of actually the gene stealers today yeah and i thought they would actually go the distance but surprisingly the voltan did because we just saw them actually cut through so many teams i mean yeah. It's interesting. Why, why do you think they did so well? Uh, Votan is, is super duper strong because right now we're in a super highly elite as well as a shooting favored match, basically. So you have a bunch of people running not so much for it. I think Gene Sealer, Colt, and Orcs are, are the only four matchups, and we only had one GSC and he was playing me melee instead yeah. of the typical list that you see. Yeah. Um, so in an elite heavy uh, like shooting, the Votan are pretty much going to outgun a lot of people besides like Imperial Guard and Tau and Admech are the only other ones that can actually keep up with how much bullets they can actually put out. And they get around the high toughness with their auto wounding from the judgment tokens. That's very true. And especially with the adjustments that we saw happen for a lot of different armies, do you think this shift, this list is going to keep shifting to see how it plays out? No, it's pretty much, I, I think they people have landed, it's like, this is how you play Votan. Like, this is the list that you're going to see a lot of people adopting and moving forward with instead. Yeah. Um, the Hecaton land, land fortresses are interesting, but they're high highly skewed because most people will either completely ignore it or they have this uh, big bones or melee to actually deal with it. Yeah. Um, the list that was undefeated had a lot more bikes and infantry instead of the land fortresses and had two transports and that was it. Yes. Just a ton of bullets and it has the ability to just pop out judge, judgment tokens. Well. Yeah, in West we saw the funny part, somebody was using ducks for judgment tokens. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Little tiny rubber duckies. <laughs> Little rubber yeah. duckies. So if you had two of them, you had two judgments by the ducks. Yeah, yeah. And you will actually see some of the, cut of the photos from this week's event. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. And guys, we'll see you next time. This is Big John Stud bringing you the War Room Games weekly update new releases. For you Warcry fans, or fans who are trying to get into the game, the new Warcry Bloodhunt box with the vampiric warrior monks of the Eskurgan True Blades fighting off the blood-hungry claws of the Karanai. Starter box comes with terrain and two armies. And also for Warcry, we have the Jade Obelisk and the Hunters of Haunty Battle Packs. Come get a new army for a new game. For you MCP fans, we have two new sets of boxes for units and rules, Betty Ray Bull and Agent Venom boxes. For you World Eater fans or just overall Angram fans, his model is now here. Get it at the store today. For you Sigmar players looking for a new army or trying to find something new in the Escalation League, we have Blue Spike Gets Vanguard and Beast of Chaos Vanguard. And for you board game lovers, we have the Seven Wonders expansion, Edifice. For you Kill Team fans, the Heretic Circle of the Necrons is now available and ready to play. Along with the Shadow Vault and Into the Dark rulebooks. For you Munchkin fans, South Park fans, or both, the exciting new update to Munchkin is here, South Park. 
take the boys and bring them into the game of Munchkin. Free Star Wars Legion fans, an exciting new update. The Imperial Dark Troopers was Moff Gideon. Get your new guys in today. For you D&D fans, painting fans, or model collecting fans, there's a new paint kit from the D&D Nozzler's Marvelous Adventures Collection, the Enlarged Dwaygar. For you Magic fans, we have the new Commander decks from the Phyrexia set, the Rebellion Rising and Corrupting Influence starters. For you Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen fans, we have the new model, Ken Slavi on Red Dragon. This has been the weekly update with Big John Stug. Thank you for watching. Well, that is a big week ahead. I just want to make sure everyone knows that we have an X-Wing tournament this weekend on Saturday. A good chance to get the 2.5 uh, version of the system and play some games against highly competitive people. We also want, with the uh, Astro Militarum release coming this week, I want to let everyone know that we have still have a lot of stock of the original release. And so if you want to fill out that uh, Imperial Guard army, you have a great opportunity to do so. Well, this has been Adam with your War Room Las Vegas Debrief. Hi, it's Adam with War Room Las Vegas Debrief. And now for Big John and his weekly recap. Or actually, no, it's preview, <laughs> yeah. right? Armies, uh, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that sucks. Let's try it. <laughs> it's okay. Trust me. I'm... All right, we're on. We're on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and action. This will be great for Alan. Mm, right, action.